beloved, the people who sold us a, a crock of shit, enslaved, abused us, they have mistreated us up until this very day, have declared that we have hit the 400 years of our captivity. That there are a few among us that know that we are indeed the chosen of God. Now, there were certain promises made after the completion of these 400 years. So many of us have tried to replicate what they have done and gain an economic foothold and so forth in society. But yet you call yourself a Christian. What did God say? He said that we would come out with great wealth. He also says that there shall be destruction. There shall be burning. And this is by the hand of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing. That he shall chastise that nation. But yet so many of us are still begging for, for bread. Now, this post is to give you a little bit more knowledge. I know some people who are children of God already know what I'm about to say. They can say amen to it. Beloved, Jesus was a sorcerer. Yes, you, you heard me right. He was a sorcerer. That one time they burned sorcerers in the state that they die. Now we, we have Paul Raider, the spiritual guru of our, you can just practice whatever you want to practice there. And you're able to do so because it's primarily of none effect. Now, my dear sister did a post so that's how to get the bucket off your back. Now, if you have the light of God within, did you hear what I said? I said that if you have the oil, that oil that the Bible speaks of in your house, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You say, well, how so, preacher? That's if you believe in the biblical character of Jesus. And see, not only is Jesus a biblical character, but he is a, 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 a correlation, so to speak, with the true and genuine characters of the kingdom of heaven. And so we find that when, when Jesus was born, that it amazed us and Mary and Joseph, that three wise men, the Magi, who were also sorcerers, men who practiced astrology. Yeah. What you say is, is of the devil, this world is evil. And so if we conclude that Jesus was a sorcerer we, and so forth, and if we have the mind of the world, the three magic wise men were sorcerers too, then we are truly serving the devil. And how are we serving the devil? We're serving the devil because we're being conformed to this world. Did you hear what I said? I said we're being conformed to this world. The kingdom that we seek to be is that it's patterned after this world. 
But what does the scripture say? It says a new heaven and a new earth and God himself. Amen. Now that's mind boggling, isn't it? That's I have not seen him for me right now. That's beyond our grass to cover him. This is what I've been trying to tell you, but uh, you see, we not got to sow and build this that sense again. We go for an old or two, a new beginning, because I am beloved, the eighth day, <clears throat> because I am the fourth one after the three beloved. I have indeed who I see. <laughs> but I just want to warn you, my beloved, those of you who have become Toby, good nigga in this way, and think that you are serving God. No, beloved, you have become twofold a child of Satan. Jesus was indeed a source. And he practiced a form of voodoo known as casting. Ca yes, casting. Now I'm not gonna go into it, I ain't gonna break it down. It's all it's already in your body. It's there as plain as day if you have eyes to see it is to hear. He that has more should be given. He that have not even that which he think he had should be taken away. You better make sure that your ankle grips the solid rock. You better make sure that you stand in oh, firm, solid and stable ground. Because I shake the kingdom. I sell through the souls of man. And only those jewels, amen, those who have prepared themselves for the glory of heaven shall be saved. Your ass, beloved, is mine.